The nun has been and gone, but that doesn't mean we're over the trauma we collectively suffered thanks to the big baddie Valak. So today we're going to be counting down some of the scary and not so scary easter eggs you may have missed. Hey guys, welcome back to Top 5 Scary Videos, I'm your host Lucy McPhee. If you're a fan of the Conjuring universe, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss another scary vid. So without further ado, let's jump into our list of the Top 5 Scary Nun easter eggs you might have missed. In at 5, the Formiga connection. Right, let's start off by addressing the elephant in the room, the Formigas. Some of you may have picked up on this, others may not have even noticed, but there are multiple Formigas in the Conjuring universe, starting with Vera Formiga, who plays Lorraine Warren in the Conjuring films, and more recently, Taysa Formiga, who plays sister Irene in The Nun. 21 years her junior, Taysa is actually Vera's younger sister, not her daughter, which I'm sure most of us originally believed. Or was that just me? It's a cool little easter egg and kind of sweet that both sisters have an affinity for the supernatural, and both characters even suffer from similar supernatural abilities, including visions. Now, their characters in the universe are unrelated and are unlikely to encounter each other considering the timeline of events, but perhaps further down the line there could be some connection revealed there. In at 4, the tomb room. In one particular scene, a few characters walk through a tomb, which display death masks atop them. Traditionally, death masks were a likeness to the corpse beneath, and in some cases were impressions taken directly from the corpse. Other cultures use death masks during funeral services, placing them directly on the corpses, and then typically they would be buried with them. Now in The Nun, these death masks hide something much more intriguing. The masks are actually designed off of a handful of crew members, including the director Corin Hardy, executive producer Michael Clear, and screenwriter Gary Daberman, and many more. It's a tricky easter egg considering you would need to know beforehand what all these people look like, but regardless it's pretty damn cool. In at 3, Plague Bells. Many of you who have watched The Nun may very well have noticed that the graveyard is filled with bells tied to a string which leads down to individual coffins. These were not in fact added for cinematic effect. This was a very real practice that was used in the 19th century, most prominently in Germany, in order to avoid accidentally burying people alive during the plague. Yikes. If someone was buried alive, they would ring the bell and pray to God that help would arrive quickly. In at number 2, License Plate. Many, many films and even video games will hide easter strikes and license plates. Whether it's Disney's recurring A113, aka the number of animation classrooms at the California Institute of Art, or even Uncharted 4, where we briefly catch a glimpse of a license plate that when flipped reads Elena, aka Nathan Drake's wife. And the nun was no different. In one particular scene, Father Burke is loading suitcases into a truck. And what does the license plate say? Valak. Of course. It's one of the more obvious easter eggs to spot, but it's also a blink and you miss it moment. Now Valak has had a long habit of infiltrating the Conjuring universe, in particular The Conjuring 2, where you'll notice a lot of references to the demonic nun before the character has even been revealed to us, particularly on the bookshelf in the Warrens' living room, to the kitchen wall while they're eating breakfast. And finally, in a number one, the ending. The nun concludes by successfully bringing the franchise full circle, and let's be real, it's pretty much just one giant easter egg. After Valak is kaput, we learn that Frenchie's real name is Maurice, and who exactly is Maurice? Well, if you think back to the first Conjuring film, you'll remember a reference to a possession case investigated by the Warrens. You know, the one that royally f***ed Lorraine up. This possession case was actually Maurice's, aka Frenchie's, which brings the franchise full circle. After his traumatic ordeal, Maurice goes off the deep end, and after the exorcism with the Warrens is unsuccessful, he kills himself. This connection means that Valak actually first appeared in the original movie, way before she was first referenced in the sequel. Not only that, but the end of the Nun feature scenes directly taken from The Conjuring, and the opening moments from The Nun showcase moments from The Conjuring 2, thus linking the entire universe and essentially making Valak the ultimate baddie. Well, there we have it. Are you a fan of The Conjuring universe? Did you catch any of these easter eggs? Or were there any that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part 2, or even venture more broadly into the entire Conjuring universe itself. There are endless possibilities. If you're a fan of this video, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later.